Good evening, you guys. This is Amber with Amber Poetry and Song, and I have a prophetic word to give you. This prophetic word comes from a vision that I had on June 5th, 2022. And this is what I saw at 523. I saw a man with long locks and a beard talking out the side of his mouth while listening to Refine Refiner by Maverick City Music sort of like shaking his head while talking and so as i sat before the lord and and i um got the understanding and the interpretation of this vision i was um led to luke chapter 12 verse 13 through 34 and i want to say that one of my last words was on laying down your life for christ um the Heavenly Father has been emphasizing that lately a lot um, with these visions that I've been getting um, concerning laying down your life for Christ. And I'm assuming because of the times that we're in. And so um, I was led to Luke chapter 12 and I was listening when I got this vision, I was actually listening to Refiner by Maverick City Music. So I'm gonna read those lyrics um, and I'm going to read the scripture first and then get into what it's about. Um, so Luke chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 13. And I usually have this ready y'all. Okay. So verse 13 says, this is about denouncing covetousness, covetous, covetousness. <laughs> okay. Um, so 13 says, and one, I'm going to start at um, verse 12. It says, for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what you ought to say. So 13, and one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? It says, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. And he said unto his disciples, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, neither for the body, what you shall put on. The life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider, consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? It says, and seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. It says, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And so as I said before, this word is about denouncing covetousness.
um, particularly when it comes to riches and the cares of this world. So um, covetous, I wrote down the definition for covetousness. Covetousness, it means marked by inordinate desire for wealth or possessions or for another's possessions. And um, I'm going to basically just read what, I, read what I wrote as I was sitting before him with this. Um, and then I'm going to read the lyrics to Refiner. So this word is um, about laying down your life for Christ. Like I said, the Lord's been emphasizing laying down your life for Christ. Um, laying down your will and way for his will and way. Laying up for yourselves treasures in heaven instead of earthly treasures. Um, and it's also about allowing yourself to be purified from the, the uncleanness of covetousness when it comes to riches. God gives us all the ability to obtain wealth, but it shouldn't be about how rich you can get, but rather about how you can multiply what he is giving you in order to be of service unto the kingdom, to further the kingdom's agenda, which that is serving others and not yourself. And so um, I'm going to go and read these lyrics because this is what this is his, the, the lyrics in this song it ministers and in, it ministers in a way where it's basically about laying down your life for Christ. So because he gave me this vision as I was worshiping and listening to the song, it says, if the altar is where you meet us, take me there, take me there. What you need is just an offering. It's right here. My life is here and I'll be a living sacrifice for you. You're a fire, the refiner. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. Then the next verse says, if your glory wants to come in, let it fall. We want it all. Lord, your fire is consuming. Fill this place. Set it ablaze. I'll be a living sacrifice for you. You're a fire, the refiner. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire, purified. You take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. Laying down your life for Christ. Um, and then it goes into, the, um, I want to say the bridge. Clean my hands. Purify my heart. I want to burn for you. Only for you. Take my life as a sacrifice. I want to burn for you. Only for you. And then that repeats. And then I want to skip down because it goes back into your fire, the refiner. I want to be consumed. They repeat that again. Um, but then it goes into another part where they say, burn me beautiful, burn me lovely, burn me righteous, burn me holy. And they just repeat those lyrics pretty much. Um, and so I, I needed to read those lyrics because it pertained to the vision. I, I heard um, I saw the vision as I was listening to that song. And that song is min ministering about just laying down your life for Christ, allowing the Lord to use you as he will. And like I said, this vision is also concerning um, denouncing covetousness, specifically when it comes to riches or material things, possessions, you know, not to say that we won't have those things, but our focus should not be on how rich we can get, but rather because he'll give us the ability to get wealth, like I said before, rather um, how you can use what the Lord has given you when it comes to those talents to multiply those things to be able to use it for other kingdom pur purposes, um, including serving others. And so that is the prophetic word. And I'll be back with another one. Um, peace and blessings to you all. Goodbye.